Ableton Live is really great as an expansion for playing tonal sounds or tonal sequences um, from your external MIDI drum controller or any other um, external uh, controller, MIDI controller, which is sending note pitches, but is maybe a bit limited, not like the push where you have um, 64 buttons for playing each pitch. So maybe you just have a few um, fields you can send in note pitches. So um, I show you how you can actually change or play sequences with the Max for Life device simple step sequence from Ableton Drama. So um, let's have a look first. So we got some sound here which is playing some nice pad sound. So uh, this is a default uh, preset from the Ableton library. So um, if you now want to play this via your um, SPDSX or via drum controller for example, things like this happens. Notes are being sent through. We can see this in the indicator here. So MIDI is all coming in, but um, the notes are much too short from uh, the usual presets from a drum sampler. So what we need to do is we need to put in a MIDI effect note length and just um, put the length up a bit. So maybe around one second. So um, this is already okay and you can now change some uh, note pitches if your drum controller, if your electronic drum module and your controller lets you do that. But if you want to change stuff quickly and um, save and recall those presets quickly, Max for Life is the way to go really here. So um, let me show you my simple step sequence. You can have up to eight steps in a sequence, but of course you don't have to have eight. So if you put those down to three, for example, you will have only the first three active and it will start from the top again. You decide which note, which incoming MIDI note should trigger the sequence. So first we need to find out which note we're actually sending in. So let's take the first pad hit it once and we see on the input monitor we are sending in an F sharp 3 and we got some velocity monitoring here as well. Okay, so the F sharp 3, F sharp 3 need, now needs to put in here. And now this F sharp 3 which is being sent in by hitting my first pad on my SPDSX gonna trigger this sequence and we can follow the play signs here. They will light up if this note is being played. And it goes on and on and we can see here that um, the trigger note um, field will light up as well. If the trigger note is being received, it will light up red. So you get some nice visual feedback here as well.